Morocco, the gateway to Africa. 10 most wanted places. Morocco is an exotic holiday destination sure to satisfy the hunger for adventure of all who are serious about exploring our amazing planet. With miles of coastline along both the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea, rugged mountain ranges such as the Atlas, and even a share of the Sahara Desert, not to mention cities packed full of culture and history and some of the most mouth-watering cuisine anywhere, Morocco is sure to be one of the favorite places you've ever been. Welcome to Most Wanted, your home for the most wanted videos on the web. In this video, we've put together 10 of the best places to check out when you check in to Morocco. But before we get started, be sure to like, subscribe, and bang that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Let's get started with number 10, Essaouira. Essaouira is a former fishing village on the North Atlantic coast, and it has transformed into a great tourist destination. Essaouira has been nicknamed the Windy City, and the almost constant trade winds have made it into one of the world's top places for windsurfing and other water sports. It is one of the coolest cities in Africa, and unlike many other Moroccan cities, the wind here keeps the temperatures mild and moderate all year round. The Medina, or old quarter of the city, runs right down to beautiful ramparts overlooking the ocean. They were built for defense from marauders. If you plan to visit this city, then make sure you come during the Nawa World Music Festival, which happens each June. It features Ganawa music, which was brought to Morocco hundreds of years ago from other parts of Africa by slaves, and includes only three instruments, castanets, a three-string bass, and voice. Number 9. Fes Fes is one of the four former capital cities of Morocco, a title it held for over 400 years, and it is its second largest city. Fes is viewed as Morocco's cultural epicenter. The mystical and magical Fes is home to well over a million people, as well as the oldest and largest medina in the world, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This medina is one of the largest urban car-free zones on the planet and it features three of the oldest tanneries in the world, as well as the University of al Karawiyan, which was founded in 859. It's the oldest continuously functioning degree-awarding institute of higher education in the world. In other words, this university is ground zero for the whole concept of college. Number 8. Where's is that? Nicknamed the Door to the Sahara, Warzazet is a town of around 70,000 residents. It's become a bit of a tourist hotspot in recent years. The area is famous for being a favorite backdrop for countless Hollywood movies, most notably Lawrence of Arabia, Gladiator, and The Mummy, not to mention Game of Thrones, which film scenes here as well. Be sure to check out the Saw of Ait Ben Hadou, an ancient village that's close by that was a stop on the caravan route between Marrakesh and the Sahara Desert. It's a great example of Moroccan earth and clay architecture and has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1987. But be forewarned, the average high temperature here in July is 100 degrees, so it's probably a good idea to avoid coming here during the summer months. Number 7. McNess McNess, a city in the north central region, is another former capital of Morocco. The area has countless places of architectural and historical interest. The 12th century Grand Mosque with its distinctive green tiled roof sits right in the heart of the Medina. It's the oldest and most important mosque in Meknes. A couple of other highlights are the Bab el Khamis Gate and the Dar el Maxin Royal Palace. Meknes is also often used as a base to visit Volubilis, the nearby Roman ruins with some incredibly well-preserved examples of mosaic tile floors. Those give you a glimpse into how the upper class used to live in Roman times. Volubilis is Morocco's best-known Roman remnant and is well worth the short drive from Meknes. Number 6. Rabat Rabat is a city of over half a million people that is situated between Casablanca and Tangier on the Atlantic coast. It was founded in the 12th century and since 1955, the year that Morocco gained its independence from France, has served as Morocco's capital city. The Casbah of the Udayas is a major tourist attraction in Rabat. The word Casbah means fortress or citadel and this Casbah dates from the 12th century. Another 12th century attraction is the Hassan Tower, which is a minaret that was constructed for a mosque that was planned but never ended up being built. The columns were erected that would have been the support system for the mosque, but then construction was halted. The columns are still standing along with the Hassan Tower. Not far from here, there is a mausoleum of King Mohammed V. These two sites, which are side by side, combine to make the most visited attraction in Rabat. Number 5. Casablanca Everybody has heard of Casablanca. It became a household name after the 1942 movie starring Humphrey Bogart was released and became one of the most well-loved films in history. 
Casablanca is Morocco's largest city, and close to 4 million people call it home. The city was founded in the 7th century, and most of it had to be rebuilt after an earthquake rocked the area in 1755. It has endured takeovers by Portuguese, Spanish, and lastly, French forces. Casablanca is home to the largest mosque in Africa, the Hassan II Mosque. This mosque has the second largest minaret in the world, and it's over 60 stories high. After visiting this wonderful mosque, take a walk on the Boulevard de la Corniche, which curls along Casablanca's oceanfront. Casablanca has a mix of cultures, so don't forget to check out the Temple Bethel, one of the largest synagogues in Morocco, and Notre Dame de Lourdes, a Catholic church with its beautiful stained glass windows, which really are more like stained glass walls. Number 4. Tangier Nicknamed the Door of Africa, Tangier is where many get their first taste of the continent after catching a ferry boat from Spain. It is Morocco's third largest city, with a population of about a million people, and its economy relies heavily on tourism. The city has grown exponentially in the last 40 years, with its numbers more than tripling. The Kasbah Museum is an important tourist attraction in Tangier. In this museum, which is housed in a former sultan's palace, you can discover archaeological artifacts from the region. There are ancient pieces from the Roman ruins of Volubilis, as well as the Phoenician Necropolis, which is an ancient burial ground located in Spain. It dates from the 7th century BC and beyond. After the museum, visit Hercules' cave, which is part natural and part man-made. Up the coast from the Caves of Hercules is the promontory which marks the entrance to the Strait of Gibraltar. The lighthouse here is the oldest in Morocco. Number 3. Shifshewan Shifshewan is Moroccan's blue city, or as the locals like to call it, the Blue Pearl of Morocco. It is a very unique town sitting at the foothills of the Rift Mountains in northern Morocco. It was founded in 1471 as a small casbah, or fortress, to fend off the invading Portuguese. Today, it welcomes visitors from Portugal and Spain and is a magnet for backpackers and other tourists who flock here from all over the world. This is one place you won't mind getting lost in. The best thing to do here is wander around and soak up the sights, and getting lost is just part of the fun. There are a few different theories as to why the locals paint their houses blue twice a year, but it might come down to a ploy to attract more tourists, and if that's the case, it certainly seems to be working. Number 2. Azila Azila is a striking whitewashed beach town about 20 miles south of Tangier. It is a popular weekend getaway for the elite of Casablanca and elsewhere. This city looks like it belongs on a Greek island rather than mainland Africa. Every August, the city has the International Cultural Festival that features jazz and Moroccan music as well as art exhibitions. During the festival, artists paint murals all over the Medina. It really adds a touch of charm to the place. Being a walled city, there are a couple of gates along the walls that are must-sees while here. Bob Homar Gate with its Portuguese coat of arms above the entrance, and Bob El Casaba or Gate of the Casbah. Another popular spot to visit is Al Camera Tower, which overlooks City Square. And that leads us to number one, Marrakesh. Probably the quintessential city in Morocco, Marrakesh is its fourth largest city, home to almost a million people. And no trip to Morocco is complete without a stop here. The city was founded in 1070, but the area has been inhabited since Neolithic times. Nicknamed the Red City for its distinctive red sandstone buildings, Marrakesh is another former capital city. The Medina is a labyrinth that has wonderful shops inside with handmade items from local artisans. You will be expected to haggle a little bit, that's a tradition in Marrakesh's shops. A fun fact about Marrakesh is that it's home to about 40,000 craftsmen. The Medina is bordered by two of the best known sites in Marrakesh. First, Kutibiya Mosque, the city's largest. It was built over 800 years ago, and its minaret is over 25 stories high. Also, right next to the Medina is one of the most iconic attractions in all of Africa, the world-famous Jamelfna Market. With its snake charmers, magicians, fire breathers, acrobats, monkeys, and storytellers, this square represents Morocco at its core. Exotic, exciting, raw, and untamed. It's an absolute must-see in this amazing city. With this, we end our list of top 10 places in Morocco. Which one is your favorite, and where are you dying to see for yourself? Tell us all about it in the comments section down below. And if you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and bang that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Thanks for watching.